Hey guys, what's up Taurus? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, and the obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Wow, that's a lot of confusion, a lot of somebody being in their head, not knowing what to do, fear. All right, so I uh, can't remember where I was in my speech. Just remember the energies can go both ways. Remember, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours. All right, immediate future for Taurus. If it does resonate, please. Whoa, that's cool. Um, if it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. I'm also, um, oh wow, offering, um, $10 readings for a short time. You can find that information on my Facebook page. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but you don't have to. Somebody is moving forward, like uh, kind of at the beginning of a journey, but very confident, very excited. You have some really fast communication that's coming in. It looks like good news. Then you have the Empress, that's you, and the Ace of Cups, the Chariot, the High Priestess, but you may have rejected this before or like it was there before. The Ace of Cups is new love or rekindling, just something that means a lot, but it didn't move. All right, so for whatever reason. All right, immediate future for Taurus. Okay, thank you. The Eight of Pentacles. Whoa, shoot. The Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. All right, a couple of things. Um, okay. If this is our own relate, let me just tell you, your money is coming up. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, like you know how to do the damn thing when it comes to taking care of your family, your work, things like that. I don't really like the word anyone with the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Because the Three of Swords can have to do with some type of pain. However, I do want to tell you, though, for some, you may have a person here returning something about a third-party relationship. So now somebody is trying to be sneaky as fuck, trying to hold on to that. There's an energy back here, and I don't know how it applies to this. I don't trust that shit. So maybe you know what that is. This can be like withholding, but it's kind of being sneaky in order to hold on to something to not lose it, right? And I'm just, these are all, both the line cards secrets all right let's see what's going on with this show me this eight of pentacles for taurus please the eight <clears throat> excuse me and the ten of pentacles and the judgment you are working your ass off like busting your ass here what is the judgment there's some type of an awakening damn the Empress, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Wands. Now I understand why this Three of Swords is over here. Because you're not just going to give your heart to anybody right now. And there's that Ace of Cups, right? So there's that new beginning. And you're manifesting it. Could be dealing with a water sign. But you're kind of over here in like boss mode. Working your ass off. It does look like the, like you've made some type of decision regarding a situation. You could be having like a big epiphany around work. But the fact that you have the Empress here, like your stability and money is really coming up. It really feels like you know what you're doing. You're very independent, very confident. But you see, when we're ending with the Three of Swords over here, you've already got your heart in this cage. So I don't know that you're just like going to open up and be like, yeah, let love come in. Because there's something that you cut out here that you felt like was no longer serving you in the past. All right, show me this Ten of Pentacles for some. Remember, it's a general reading, so not not everything I say has to apply directly, okay? That's Seven of Wands. You're very independent, but there's that Nine of Wands, too. You may have blocked communication here. You are taking care of yourself. When I say your money is coming all the way up, your money is coming all the way up. But it does feel like as far as love or a particular person, um... You're holding on to yourself. You're very independent. To so someone actually uh, on the outside looking in, like you may be a little intimidating there because you have your shit together so much. And it also looks like you're extremely like intuitive and you've kind of been letting go of a situation. And it does look like when you walked away from this, like it was justified. And I say walked away because it's like the wish was there. It was something that you really wanted, but 
Something must have happened. Your money, though, the eight, nine, ten of pentacles, and the empress over here, like, you're definitely coming up. You're finding some type of abundance, but you're doing it all on your own. And it does look like, you know, it wasn't easy. You busted your ass for it. So good for you. See, there's something else under here. It's like, this is the surface energy. And then today, there's like a... um under under the surface energy because i see that seven of swords i see that devil i see somebody like spying or just waiting to come towards you show me this outcome for taurus so you have the queen of pentacles your energy but the empress remember the combination of all these queens you really fall hard to get like to where you're about to go especially in a stability aspect of it all right show me this outcome show me the queen of pentacles money coming up you're very much about your business see this is what it is okay um show me the three of swords and then i'm going to tell you because it's it's basically like love's there knocking but you're so independent and so very well off on your own when it comes to it feels like love or something that's been at a distance here. Um, I don't want that many. Um, it's it's going to be hard to let it in. Like there's kind of like a fear. Like um, like I said, heart in the cage type thing. So you may kind of have a hard time. Just it, like it may worry. But don't overthink it with that eight of swords there. Tell me more about the outcome for Taurus. Why the three of swords? But it looks like you went, like I said, yeah, all right, through a long battle. Like something's really been difficult, but you're pulling past that. But when it comes to so it's like matters of the heart, you're not going to move here. It does feel like there's there may be secrets around like the emperor or like some type of counterpart or that could have happened in the past. But um, you have the Three of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Temperance, the Hermit. You're kind of taking a long time here. The Sagittarius energy, but and this is really just nervous almost to open up from a heart space. You may still be in healing mode and kind of just, you know, taking time for yourself and to, you know, kind of... I mean, it does feel like it's hard to just let something in because of how much, like, you busted your ass. Like, you came up big time on an independent level. Show me the Six of Pentacles. So, again, around work, it looks like something's going to, yeah, your energy, something's going to balance out. You got to trust your intuition. Because for some, you know... It, de it depends on your situation, how long ago this was. Like, if, if you've been single for a while, you may got to drop some guards. You may have to find a balance between, or like, uh, it could just very well be intimidating. But um, it's almost like, like your work incredibly paying off, but you may be kind of nervous that, you know, you're not going to get back what you're putting into it. For some, like, if this is new, I mean, I mean, like, if there was, like, a new breakup or, like, a, you know, something that's more recent, you could just be still healing from that. But don't be, you know, nervous about, especially if it's something that's brand new. But give yourself time, you know. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving night of the deck, taking it day by day. But progress is made that way. You know, things don't just happen overnight. Because you do have a huge wish coming, Aquarius energy. It's just taking, it's taking its time. All right, Taurus, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Yeah, see, okay. There's, I mean, it looks like you're healing from possibly like a codependent relationship or like an emotional, like something there really kind of wore on you. The Seven of Swords, the Moon, the Devil. And there could have been secrets, something like that. So, I mean, that, you know, and there could have been a third party. 
that makes sense. But just don't get caught up in paranoia if it's something that's brand new. All right, Taurus. Uh, if you like one of those $10 readings, you can find the information on my Facebook page. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time.